In today's video, I'm just going to recreate the setup that I have in FedEx. This is a daily chart, and we do have retracements to run, extensions to run, and projections to run. Typically, I like to run the projections first. This is where I compare the prior swings with the current swing. Okay, that one comes in a little bit lower, 167.47. This will come in way lower. This prior high low comes in at uh, 169.17. And now let's try the retracements. So I'm gonna run the retracements of the full swing and then some of these swings inside of that larger swing. See if we can overlap that support, okay. And actually, in this case, we don't really have any extensions to run. So let's just look at the um, first two areas of support because those are the setups that we are close to. Let's get rid of this, actually. Okay, so there's two areas that I would focus on at this point. The first one comes in at the 169 17 to 169.39 area. Now that includes a 618 retracement of this prior low to high swing, along with a 100% projection of, um, I don't know, it was one of these two swings here, right? So if price can hold above or continue to hold above that area, what we typically look for is a 1272 extension of the swing into the zone. So we take this high to this low, we run the extension, Actually, it comes in above that old resistance. So setup zone is um, 169.17 to 169.39. And the potential upside target, if we continue to hold above here, is 180.92. Now, honestly, I don't know whether or not this has triggered an entry just yet, but that's what you would want to look, look for. I did a video on triggers that will help you understand uh, what you use for a day trade trigger and what you use for a swing trade trigger. I've posted that multiple times on Twitter, so just scroll back a little bit. I know I posted it in the last couple of days, and that will help you with these types of setups. Now, if the first area doesn't end up holding, I will look at one other area that comes in below it. And this also includes a symmetry projection, 167.47, and then um, the second um, price relationship is a 382 of um, one of these prior swings. So those are the two areas that I would focus on at this point. As long as we hold above one of those, I will look to take buy triggers. But if we break underneath that, I will back off until further notice. And remember that when you break the zones, you know, the trade's a bust. So these are not all going to work, obviously. Nothing is 100%, uh, but this is definitely something that you can watch in, in FedEx in the coming sessions.